Linear regression has been around a long time in trading and in charting, and I was never a big fan of it until today. Happy Wednesday, traders. Happy Indicator Profile Series Day, traders. Happy Fed Day, traders. Boo. But we keep marching on. Uh, it is a linear regression slope this week. And we've actually had elements of linear regression in a few of the indicators we've profiled here, especially lately. But that's getting a bit too deep in the weeds for me. Uh, Dan goes over it really well in the blog this week if you want to check it out. But I think this should be a pretty quick one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Before we do, if you're new, welcome to my channel. It is the number one indicator channel on all of YouTube. It always was. It will always be. But the bad part is, is you're not going to really know what we're talking about. So you need to go here first. Go to nononsenseforex.com. Read the first page. Watch that first video. Get yourself started and get caught up. It's going to take a while. But it is so worth it. For the rest of us who are already there, let's get into the specs of the linear regression slope indicator. The year is going to be 2019. And this is another one I have never heard of up until recently when we started getting into things. Uh, this is going to be a confirmation indicator. This uh, subtype, I would really call it a histogram more than anything. Probably is a zero cross or a midline cross. I'm sure it is, but um, it's uh, histogram heavy. You'll see it in a moment. And as far as exits, I don't like it for that, but feel free to try. Let's go ahead and look at it. It is simple as can be. When the magenta turns green, that is your signal to go long. When the green turns magenta, that is your signal to go short. What else do you need to know? I mean, you have a little bit of green right here. If you're unsure about whether this is a green or a magenta signal, you can always go over here and look or open your data window. There's a lot of ways you can do it. But that's beginner indicator stuff. You guys should all know this by now. Let's go ahead and see how it performed. Before we do that, understand, even though all of you should know this, I'm going to say it every single episode. No matter what type of results you see here, you need to test this in your own system because that is all that matters. You might see amazing results here. That doesn't really mean anything when it comes to your system. You might see subpar results here. That doesn't mean anything either. You might see somebody in the comments section say they don't like it. That doesn't matter. They don't run the same system as you do. Test, test, test. It's not hard. If you don't know how to do that, I have a link down below for you. It is a link to my automation blog. In that blog, there's an embedded video showing you how to test this yourself on the MT4 Strategy Tester. The blog, of course, where all the tweak settings are. I literally say this every week, and this has never changed. This has always been there, and I still get people asking me in the comments section where the tweak settings are. Do not answer these people. I'm going to stop answering them too. There is a base level of competency you must have to trade this system. And if you're asking questions like this, you should probably move on to something else. And just so you know, if you want to see more work on these indicators, you can always go over to Dan's channel right after this. Many people do. And if you have an indicator you would like to submit to us for testing and possibly profiling on this show, we have an email address for you to send it to. We do this from time to time. We just did it last week, actually. And the most popular place in all of the entire internet it is the indicator library, where you can download this indicator and every indicator we have profiled here on the indicator profile series let's go ahead and get into things starting with the euro usd and we are off to a strong start eight percent is really nice four hour traders good lord that is really really nice i've made my case many times to why i think four hour trading is not the most optimal i stand by that but if you're doing it anyway man oh man that is really really nice for forex this is nothing to sneeze at either. It's lower trades, which might mean this would work better as a secondary confirmation indicator. You could kind of tell that by looking at it earlier, but great win-loss ratio, nice ROI, a really good place to start. Let's move over to gold, and it just keeps getting better. You know, 30%, 30% strong. You know, it's funny. Gold has been good overall for us, and we've been testing these within a couple weeks most of the time and if you have noticed lately gold has been really rangy so this is really impressive when you consider all those factors moving over to the s p again this is like the baseline right here on both and here come the sirens right on cue the authorities don't want you to know about this traders to be able to pull these kind of numbers in one indicator is really really nice this thing just keeps on chugging 
But sometimes when we get to Bitcoin at the end, it tends to disappoint. Fair warning. LOL. Just kidding. Damn near 40% with one indicator on Bitcoin. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been finding gems a lot recently. We are happy to show them to you, and we're happy to show these things to you all the time. Subscribe, hit the bell. Why would you miss out on something like this? Trading Psychology Podcast every other Monday, Indicator Profile Series every Wednesday, Blog sometimes on Thursdays, and the 10-Minute Contrarian Investing Podcast every Saturday. Who else is giving you all of this in one channel? Nobody. Subscribe, hit the bell, give us a like. We'll see you next week. Go get it.